Hi there. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about how vitamin K2 might be the holy grail to reverse heart disease. And let me put it in context and see if I can build a credible argument for you. For starters, we know that vitamin K2 in our food supply has dropped dramatically in the last hundred years. And that's because it's made in the gut of animals that eat green vegetables. So when a cow eats grass, green grass, it has lots of K2 in it. And in fact, uh, we know that what the Weston Price Foundation, for example, Weston Price was a dentist back in the 1920s that used butter from May cows when grass is growing the fastest and the darkest green and hence has the highest K2 in it. He used butter from, from May milk for his activator X, which he used to reverse dental caries. Very impressive. So he knew that back in the 1920s. In the 1950s, after World War II, virtually every animal in America got moved off of pastures onto feedlots. And when you get on a feedlot, corn and beans has no vitamin K1 in it, and so the animal can't make K2. So that we humans who eat those animals have a dramatic reduction in our K2 intake. The net effect is that K2 is known to activate two critical calcium proteins. One is matrix GLA protein, which binds calcium in your coronary arteries and sucks it out of the arteries. And the other is osteocalcin that binds calcium into bone. So one, it pulls calcium out, the other it pulls calcium in. But it's calcium binding in both places. And that happens to address the two key pandemics going on in America public health right now, and that is half of us are dying of coronary artery disease after we've broken a bone. So osteoporosis and coronary artery disease are terribly dangerous diseases. All right, another nugget. I was an emergency physician for about 30 years, and if I put up a chest x-ray on the board in the ER, and I could see every artery outlined in calcium in somebody's chest x-ray, I could point out with deadly accuracy, that person's on warfarin. So you put them on a K1 reverse uh, antagonist, warfarin, and you completely remove vitamin K from their system, and their arteries will turn to concrete. So we know that for a fact. That happens. That's well known and well regarded. All right. So we've had these inklings that we need more K2. And we've had the first inkling was the comb study from Canada where they used 100 micrograms of MK7 and improved women's bone density more effectively than any of the alendronates on the market. Now, they also had vitamin D, magnesium, fish oil, uh, and strontium. So those five ingredients, micronutrients. Uh, so it wasn't just K2. But I've been disappointed in that K2 hasn't been reversing osteoporosis by itself as formulated in that study until I discovered a unique individual by the name of Pat Thewitt. And Pat Thewitt is a paper engineer in Wisconsin who developed coronary artery disease and went to the most important famous clinic in the Midwest and didn't have any improvement in his coronary artery disease. And he was quite frustrated by that. He had all the procedures and all that. He had a CT of his chest that showed a very high score and went and thought that that would reverse it. He couldn't get his score down. And he started reading. And he decided that he needed more K2. And so instead of just getting 100 micrograms a day, he went for 500 micrograms a day and formulated his own method of reversing the calcium in his coronary arteries. And he did. And his coronary artery disease went away. www.k-vitamins.com You can look him up. Read his story. Pat through it. I think the guy's a genius. This is not a randomized placebo controlled trial. This is an N of 1. 
But when you see a remarkable end of one that has no harm to it, we need to pay attention. I have been taking his product. I've been buying his product, Concentrated K. He spells concentrated with a capital K. You can find his website. You can buy it too. My advice is you should. What will work for me? I've been taking his K2 for the last six months. My calcium score is only one, so I'm not a very good person to show him. But I'm thinking of getting another one just to see if I've gained any calcium in between. But I've been doing it for about two months now, and I haven't gotten kidney stones, and I haven't gotten high calcium, and I've measured all those things. I think our food supply changed in the 1950s, and we didn't realize it. And we had the information right in front of us. We had the Western Price Foundation has been telling us forever that we needed more vitamin K2. There it is, Dr. John Whitcomb for News and Nutrition. This may be the holy grail for coronary artery disease. Wouldn't it be nice if you could reverse it without angioplasties, without open heart surgery, without all that, all that, all that, all that stuff? You might be able to. Read his story. In, on his website, he has my story. Read it.